gin joints in all the towns in all the world. She walks into mine. The broadcasting system and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the air in The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. William Wyler, one of Hollywood's great directors, said of Howard Koch that having worked with some of the finest authors and screenwriters, I consider Howard Koch among the best. I started out as a lawyer. Now my father was a lawyer without a degree and I was, I had the degree and I was not a lawyer, at least not a lawyer that, that should be practicing. And when a client came in I was kind of uh, aggravated because I really didn't, didn't want to practice. All I wanted to do was to write. Casablanca needed to be done. It had some life of its own and we were more or less conveyors just to get it to the screen. You have a really perfect marriage between character and structure. You have people who are essentially what they do. And especially in this day and age, it's a very attractive world to visit where there is so much that we call subtext or so much that is hidden or so much that is devious. In this film, the people you identify the people by what they do, not by what they say or by what they think about themselves or anything like that. They actually act according to who they are. And I think that's a very rare, rare quality in a story, and that the story works so well based on people behaving this way. Louis, well, whatever gave you the impression that I might be interested in helping Laszlo escape? Because, my dear Ricky, I suspect that under that cynical shell, you're at heart a sentimentalist. The other thing about it is, and I think it's true of a lot of, in a lot of Howard's films, is that there is ultimate, ultimate romantic quality to Casablanca. And that, when I say romantic, I mean there's this extraordinary longing when you watch it for what might be but cannot be. Mm -hmm. 